Hello and welcome all to this course on time series analysis and forecasting with applications in R. So this would be an introductory video where I will very briefly tell you about the course structure and a very short background of mine and some motivation for all of you to go ahead and then actually enroll in this course. Right? So myself, my name is Professor Sudeep Bapat. I am an assistant professor in the Shailesh J. Mehta School of Management here at IIT Bombay. Now very brief background of mine, so prior to joining IIT Bombay, I was an assistant professor at IIM Indore in their operations management and quantitative techniques area and my background has been statistics all throughout and even before that I was in the US, so I was a visiting assistant professor in the department of probability and applied statistics in the University of California, Santa Barbara in the USA. And then my PhD is also from abroad, specifically from University of Connecticut in the USA, again in applied stats. Right? And over the period of let's say last six years and so, I've published over 40 research papers in reputed journals and I've chaired and presented at leading conferences in the area across the world. And some of my research topics include of course time series analysis, then statistical finance, statistical learning sequential methodologies, change point detection, etc. Right? Now very quickly coming to the core structure right? and what exactly is the motivation for all of you to enroll in this particular course. Right? So the idea of time series data can be observed at multiple levels. So let's say across areas like economics or finance or ecology, climatology, environment sciences, etc. Right? So in short, one can actually see a lot of practical applications when it comes to analyzing a time series data. Right? So these days, you must be seeing that almost all of you have some interest in let's say stock price forecasting. Right? So even in such areas when it comes to stock price forecasting or capturing the movement of the underlying stocks and so on, time series analysis could be widely applicable. Right? Second point is practitioners who deal with time series data are often not aware of the appropriate model to deploy, right? depending on the intricacies and the stochastic nature of the observations. And this is exactly where analyzing a particular time series data, putting forward a time series model and then eventually forecasting the data in the future is the motivation or the goal of sort of studying this course in detail. right? Hence, analyzing such a data is thus important from a modeling and forecasting perspective. Okay? Now, probably I will just very briefly walk you over the course structure. So, this is a 30 hour course right? and then there will be 12 weeks. So, specifically the first couple of weeks would be again very basic introduction, then idea about stationarity, some basic time series models, non-stationarity. Right? Then we will jump into let us say tests for stationarity, some specific time series models like Arima, Sarima, right? then model identification. Then couple of weeks later, let us say 5 and 6 would be forecasting methods, then comparing different forecasts or a different kind of a time series model called as fractionally integrated processes. Right? And then the second half, let us say week 7 and 8 will start with multivariate processes, co-integration, causality analysis, right? then Fourier transformation, spectral density, volatility modeling. So again these days, all the markets, so if you see Nifty or Bank Nifty or whatever stock asset you are following is highly volatile. So how do you capture that volatility and then try to model and forecast down the line would be again an important aspect. And again towards the end we will talk about let us say non-linear models and then Markov switching models and then machine learning models in applied to time series. Okay? So just a very brief outline about the structure of the course and the flow of the course over the let us say 12 weeks or 30 hours. All right? And then lastly practical aspect in this course. So this course will be slightly different from any other let us say predictive modeling course that you must have seen on NPTEL or somewhere else that half an hour of hands on session every week particularly in R focusing on the practical aspects of the methodologies covered that week. And as all of you might know that R is an open source software which is highly beneficial for data analysis and forecasting. All right? So we will try to sort of connect all the theory we have been studying that week and then to tie the actual understanding through a practical session every week. Right? And lastly, probably I will just quickly walk you over some of the application areas of time series. So let us say retail stores use it to forecast sales, 
or energy companies use it to forecast reserves, production, demand, prices, right? And then here you see a whole lot other examples where time series modeling and forecasting could be applied. So let's say one can actually use it to forecast temperatures or rainfall or humidity, right? So that being said, I'm pretty sure that this would be a very interesting sort of a course and then combination of both theory as well as hands-on exercises. So we'll throw in a lot of practical data sets, try to analyze that using the R software and so on. And then I'm very sure that this would have a long lasting effect on all of you. And then particularly if you are more interested in let's say analyzing any time series sort of a data or stochastic data, then probably this would be the right course for all of you. All right. Thank you.